All right, hey guys, it's Dr. McGrath and Violet, and we're here today to talk about T helper cell or CD4 T cell activation. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is with an extracellular antigen. So what we have over here on this side is a dendritic cell, and he is just floating around um, in your body, in your skin, you know, all over looking for foreign pathogens. So he's sampling the environment and through molecular interaction, recognizing if anything looks foreign. Okay. And so what we have here, we're going to do our example where somebody gets a cut in their skin. And so in the cut skin, sometimes a bacteria can enter. And when a bacteria enters our skin, our dendritic cell, would go and he's gonna recognize this foreign bacteria and he's gonna eat him. When he eats him, he's going to process him and he's going to present a piece of that bacteria, one of the antigens from the surface on his MHC class two uh, molecule. He is also going to secrete cytokines. When he secretes cytokines, this, these cytokines are going to act as chemotactic agents to recruit more dendritic cells to the site where the bacteria is. Because if you have one bacteria, you probably have a bunch in there. So now we have a bunch of dendritic cells at the site of infection, and hopefully they can clear it. In addition, our, T, or our um, dendritic cell is going to, he ate up the bacteria, so he then is going to travel over here to the lymph node. When he gets to the lymph node, he is going to go over to helper T cells and look for the helper T cell that has a T cell receptor that matches this antigen. So he's gonna come over and talk to this T helper cell, and he doesn't have the right one, and this T helper cell, until he finds the guy with the correct T cell receptor. The MHC class two molecule will bind to the CD4 on the cell, and the T cell receptor is kind of like the thing on the T cell that can see. It will see or molecularly bind to the antigen that is being presented. When this happens, the dendritic cell will secrete a co-stimulatory molecule that will activate the T helper cell. This activation of the T helper cell will help the T helper cell secrete cytokines that can lead to further activation and activating other T cells and B cells. So what we talked about here was we had a cut skin and we had some antigens that came in on the surface of a bacteria. Our dendritic cells noticed that bacteria, ate it, digested it, presented the um, antigens on the surface of its cell with the MHC class two molecule. In addition, the dendritic cells secreted a bunch of cytokines that made a whole bunch more dendritic cells come to the site of infection. The dendritic cell that ate the bacteria then went to the lymph node, found the T helper cell that matched the antigen, secreted a co-stimulatory molecule to stimulate that T helper cell, and the T helper cell then secreted cytokines that led to further activation. So what we have now is a bunch of dendritic cells at the site of infection with cytokines and an activated T helper cell secreting cytokines in the lymph node. We'll follow up on our next video and tell you what those cytokines are doing. Bye.